Hi everyone, my name is Sagar and we are back here with another video. So today in this video, we are going to see the new way of navigating in Jetpack Compose. So in the new update of Compose Navigation Library, they made it very easier to navigate from one composable to another. And let's see this. So there you can see this is our dummy UI and for navigating in Compose, we need a nav host, but uh, we need a dependency for that. So inside our build or gradle app level. We need these two dependency. One is for navigation compose and the latest version is 2.8.0 beta 01. And you will get these dependencies in the repository link in the description. So let me move this to catalog and this one also. So this is Kotlin serialization library and uh, I'll let you know why we need that. And uh, there is also this plugin. So make sure to add this otherwise your serialization won't work. So let us sync now. Okay, Gradle build has finished and uh, now we'll create a nav host for our multiple screens. And, uh, and there you can see it also takes a nav controller as a parameter. So let's create that. That's our usual thing how we were doing it previously. So previously how we were doing it is we have to pass here a screen, screen 1 and and let's remove these things and previously we used to pass the name here so route is equal to screen 1 so this name should be equal to exactly equal to this and here we have to pass our composable so let's create a composable I will rename it as screen 1 and with no parameters so this is my screen one with just a simple box and a button inside of it that is saying navigate to screen two and uh, screen two is also exact same but the button is saying navigate up and usually I won't recommend to pass the nav controller what you can do here is you can add a callback instead of it. So this is our old way how we used to do it we have to define our screen route and we have to also navigate by passing a string as a route and if in your scenario you have to pass some arguments so you have to also define it here. In in this composable if you see there is this arguments list arguments list of and then there you have to define your nav args and you also have to change your route so something like something like slash and then your and then your id your name or if you have to pass anything optional then you have to also make a lot of changes and also when you are navigating you have to pass those things like id is suppose one two three and then name is suppose sagar so something like that and uh, this is first of all not type safe it can lead to more bugs so now how we will do it is we will remove this thing we will define here a generic type of our class so we have to define here screen to I will say it as route I will create a data class for it data class screen to route I will pass here the ID as string and uh, and a name that can be nullable string and default value also I can pass here null or suppose that I can pass it as string and I'll pass empty as default value so let's see when we are navigating from this screen one we can instead of instead of passing this root what we can do is we can pass this screen to root data class and and it will work fine we just have to pass the mandatory parameters so id that's it how you are doing it with normal functions so this is navigate normal function and we are passing an object and i can also pass the name so you can see by default the name value was null so now in this screen too let me just extract this so previously how we were doing it with this nav backstack entry and still we have to do it with this. Previously we were using this arguments but now we will use to route and there we can pass our class. That's it. And now we will always have the guarantee that this data will not be nullable. So let's pass it here data. So that's it. Now let's try to run this application. Okay we just got a build error. This version 1.5.1 .1 is not compatible with our Kotlin version. So I'm using Kotlin version, hopefully latest one. You can see I'm using 
and compose version is 1.5.1 so let us see the compatible version okay let us go with this version 1.5.14 Okay, so the app has built, but it crashed, and uh, we are getting this exception serialization on this screen to route, and that's where our serialization dependency comes. So this class, whatever whatever we are defining here, should be serializable, and uh, that's how this new navigation is gonna work, and now it should work. So the app is successfully built now. Let me click on the navigate to second screen, and there you can see we are having our both of the parameters and we can also navigate back so that's cool and even the cooler part is we can also pass slashes so if you have already used previous version of compose navigation library then you know we cannot pass the slashes because because these routes are considered as a url and uh, and and passing a slash means it is a separate path but in this new navigation we can also pass slashes so let us pass here and here also and uh, also let us try with the list because previously it was hard to pass list of any data and let me pass let me pass the list here list of string now passing parameters like this is super easy and uh, the, you just need to remember one thing whatever object you are passing that should be serializable let's navigate to screen 2 and there you can see it is working so here you can pass any kind of data and also you can change your first composable screen one route let's create this as a object class and this object should be also serializable That's it. Now it will work exactly same. Also, if you want to, also if you want to make this as a data class instead of a object, you can also do that. Just pass the mandatory parameters here. So I hope you learned something new in this video. If yes, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.